Well, thanks to photo filters and smartphone apps like Snapchat, it is possible to get an idea of what you potentially will look like in 30 or 40 years. But how will you feel? It's a really interesting question. A new documentary from the Twin Cities PBS is exploring the aging process to encourage families to have the conversation about elder care together. Colleen Wilson is the vice president of the digital publishing for Twin Cities PBS, and she's here this morning to talk about Fast Forward, A Look Into Your Future. Good morning. Good morning. I'm glad to be here. Well, I'm glad you're here too. I saw this come across my email and I am so enthralled to watch it. And I am so curious to find out what you found out. And I think that this is a subject matter that even people that I'm aging, I'm 53 this summer, but I mean, people are thinking about this a lot. So talk about what you guys wanted to accomplish with this. Yes, well, the reality is, is that only a third of people actually have any plans in place for aging. And combine that with the fact that many of us are living longer and longer, well into our 80s. So what we used to consider as old age now is the longest chapter of any period of your life. And so it, it is important for folks to make those plans. So the filmmakers teamed up with MIT on this fascinating suit and they worked with professional makeup artists with four ordinary families and fast forwarded them into their 80s so they could experience firsthand what it will be like to be 80. And we then as the viewer get to see how they reconcile the challenges they face and how it really is an impetus for some important family conversations. No kidding. And a lot of us are in that sandwich uh, sandwich generation mm -hmm. where we have, you know, teenagers and little kids. And we're also helping our parents move through this chapter of their lives. So you're seeing it firsthand through your parents. But I think the interesting thing is not seeing it, but feeling it. So how did that work? How did they, how were they able to feel how they would potentially feel when they're older? Yes, MIT has, the Age Lab has developed this special suit, which viewers can see in the film. What it does is it, it really um, begins to limit your mobility. It um, affects your balance. It also begins to sort of limit and blur your vision. So when you put on this suit, it does simulate what might be some of the physical manifestations of age. And it's pretty dramatic. So one of the things that I would like to point out is that when you put, let's say a 36 year old in this suit, it's pretty shocking to them. Um, the reality is though that aging is incremental. These, these, as you know, as you said in your fifties, I am as well, that these things begin to creep up. So it's not as a suddenly bam, you're old. Um, you get the, the changes happen over a long period of time and you get to adjust them. But what's really brilliant about the film is you get to see people um, who are quite youthful then in this age suit and it's a real eye opener for them because the important thing is that you need to plan for aging, not just let it sneak up on you. And you know, <clears throat> planning for it, of course, uh, monetarily you have to plan for it, but mm -hmm. you have also have to plan on what you're going to be able to do, what you're not going to be able to do, and think about how that's going to feel and really keep yourself healthy so that you can actually move through those years a little easier, right? That's right. And, and in doing so, what you want to be able to do is, yes, have proper nutrition and ensure that you're staying physically fit and financially fit. Um, because as I said, it is an increasingly longer period of time and it's really quite normal. Um, so we, what we wanted to do with the film is we've partnered with Next Avenue, which is um, a daily journalism publication that I oversee at Twin Cities Publication. That is, we have a, a fleet of editors and writers who are every day writing about the resources and tools and advice that you need to know as you age. So we worked with the filmmakers to develop a suite of tools and resources that families can use after having watched the film so they can begin those conversations and put their plans in place. So one of, the mo one of the uh, most important resources we created is an email-based course. And what this does is it breaks down what is a rather complicated process about planning for your support network as you age into one task each day for oh, a week. Good plan. And it takes something that's otherwise overwhelming and makes it achievable. And so at the end of the course, they've got that plan in place. 
I like that. And I love the resources that you're putting together that are wrapping around this. And we'll let everyone know how they can see it. And thank you, Colleen, for sharing this information with us. And thank you for making it. This is awesome. Thank you. All right, fast forward, a look into the future premieres on Twin Cities PBS March 24th at 9. Of course, it will air a number of times after that, but maybe set uh, your DVR for that. Also, a free virtual event and conversation about aging with experts will be on April 1st at 6 o'clock.